Okay, so first, um, a shout out to AmethystXX on YouTube. Uh, they pointed me in the direction of this mod. Um, I was waiting for Beat Together to come out um, because I was over on their Discord um, and noticed they were talking about releasing a new version soon. Uh, but this one's live now, so I thought I may as well make a, a multiplayer video that people can actually you know, jump on and maybe start playing some multiplayer while they wait for Beat Together. Um, I've never seen this one before or used it, so I don't know how um, populated it is, let's say. Um, but anyway, let's jump in. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do, obviously, is go to Mods Before Friday. Now, this only works in, I think, Chromium-based browsers, so um, Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Opera. Um, it does also work apparently on Android phones, although I can't seem to get it to work on my Android phone. Um, but you can always try that. Some people have had success. Um, but if you notice on the mods page, um, the multiplayer mod isn't actually here. Um, so we'll jump over to their Discord where it is. Uh, their Discord, by the way, is hard CPP uh, VR mods, and that's Chatplex. Um, and on here, it's under Quest Releases. Um, I'll post an invite link to this in the description. Um, so you'll see all these mods here. So there's this uh, game tweaker, note tweaker, and menu music. Now these mods were on this mods page, uh, but I've already installed them. Um, but then there's also the multiplayer mod here um, and Chatplex. I don't know what this Chatplex SDK is, but I just installed it anyway, just in case it's some kind of functionality that gets multiplayer working properly. Um, anyway, you just click these, they download um, as a, a QMod file. Um, and once you've got them downloaded, head back over to uh, Mods Before Friday uh, and you just clip click the upload button here and you'll see there's Chaplex SDK and QB Saber Plus multiplayer here. So just double click on them uh, mm. and it'll install them. Um, if you haven't used mods before Friday before, just check out one of my previous videos. Um, it's, it's super easy to set up, to be honest, but they'll kind of run you through um, how to sort of get it set up for the first time. Because you need to be on like a fresh install of Beat Saber um, and then it'll sort everything out and get you ready for modding. Um, but yeah, that's it on the, the PC side of things. So let's jump in the headset now and take a look at some of the features. Okay, so here we are in Beat Saber. Um, apologies, I'm sat at my desk again like the previous video because the mic's still busted on my Quest. Uh, so that's why I'm a little close to the floor. Um, but anyway, once you get into the game, uh, if you look over to your left-hand side, you will see multiplayer uh, in like a yellowy color. Um, there's a settings tab here. Uh, once you get in there, although there's not a lot of settings to be honest. Um, so first we've got these uh, four different things here. Oh, well, first up at the top there's Multiplayer Plus, which is the name of the mod, and we're on version 16. Um, and then we've got Quick Player, Create Server, Join Via Code, and Find Room. Um, so first let's have a look at Quick Player. Um, so in here we've got uh, the just your settings options on the side. Um, so we've got MP plus normal public. Um, you can see me over there on Quest Zero. Uh, it's a scoreboard basically. I, I haven't played at all in here yet. So um, uh, you can see a list here. I'm guessing that's just me in the room. Um, there's a start button, spectate, score sub, arena, democracy, free mods, um, no beat map selected. I'm not going to go into everything because I haven't actually looked through it myself. Um, and yeah, there's a select level here. So there's all like the normal levels. Then you can go to like your... Uh, custom levels, uh, I don't know if you can actually select these, I'm, I'm assuming you can, but um, yeah. Uh, and that's it basically, uh, I'm not going to drag things out for ages. Oh, there's make my room private, change room code, uh, toggle room code visibility. Um, so that's that, so let's jump out of here and go uh, to the next one. Uh, so then we've got create server. Um, so room type, normal, Fitbit tournament. Um, 
So let's create that. So it's the same thing again, but you've just created your own server. Let's get out of there. Uh, join via code. Um, I'm guessing that's just to uh, do the room code that we saw previously. So if you're in there and you create your own room code, you can just give your friends a room code and then you can all play together. Uh, and then we finally got find room here. Um, so there's one room at the moment with one person in. So I'm, I'm guessing it's maybe just a bad time of day. Um, it's only like something like half three um, uh, in the afternoon in the UK here. So no one in the US will probably be playing yet. And it's a bit early for UK players as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, public rooms. I'm sure if you come back on at peak time, there's probably more people here playing. So you'll just select which one you want uh, and then click join. I'm not going to join their room because I don't want to um, get their hopes up that somebody's going to play with them. Uh, so let's close that off. But that's about it really. Um, it does say over on the side here, uh, you can visit their patron um, to donate money to them if you want, because this is completely free uh, to get. Um, Usually things are paywalled until they're publicly released. Um, we can have a quick look in the settings. Uh, but again, there's lobby settings here. Stay ready between maps, play, sound on countdown, refresh. Uh, and then we've got gameplay, show rank indicator, show accuracy difference, and avatar, display avatar, yes or no. Um, amount of avatar to display, display names. And... You know, that's about it. It's pretty simple. Um, seems pretty cool. Um, hopefully, there are more people playing at uh, peak times. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And yeah, uh, I'll leave it there. Like I said, if um, I'm keeping an eye on Beat together, so if and when that does come out, then I'll obviously make another one of these videos um, showing you how to use Beat together, because I, I do think from what I've known in the past, the beat together servers um, are a bit more populated. Um, but yeah, that's it. And thanks for watching.